there's nothing that people love more than tricks that simulate skill, meaning a trick that makes it look like you are more skillful than you actually are, you deceitful cunt. So for this particular trick, it's gonna make you look like you're fucking Robin Hood, like you're Robin the Hood, if you know what I mean. You're going in there with your gat. Um, so uh, we have a, a card selected here. Uh, let, let's say, well, first of all, the deck is shuffled. And uh, before anything, we take a card out as a uh, as a prediction card over here. So this is the uh, prediction card. But the uh, cards are shuffled and they're uh, mixed up here. And you have a card picked. In this case, it's the uh, the 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 king of king of of autofocus right here. The king of clubs. So this card, of course, gets lost somewhere in the deck. Um, usually, it, it's on top of the deck, but uh, we'll we'll ignore that here by giving that a cut. Uh, a cut, a cut. So uh, the cards are picked and you, you ask the spectator uh, what they think of this prediction, what they think this prediction is. And of course they might say, oh, it's the card that I picked. And you're gonna say, no, wrong, wrong, like usual, you anemic piece of shit. So this is a, um, this is a joker. Uh, and the only thing I know about your card is that it's not a joker, um, unless I kept the jokers in a deck, but it's definitely not this joker. So I'm actually going to use this joker to find your card here in a um, in a very, uh, very, very impressive manner here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to throw the, the joker somewhere in the deck. Um, and then hopefully we should see that my skill is uh, is very apparent. So uh, we're just going to go through this here. Uh, go through the deck uh, over here, right where I shot the Joker, uh, because for the first time, so I want you to name the card you picked. Oh, what? Yeah, that's that's fantastic because that's exactly where I managed to throw the the Joker. You 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 uh, abusive abusive ex ex boyfriend. So uh, this is some hot hot stuff here because it makes you look like. Like you just threw the Joker somewhere in the deck, and of course it happens to be next to their card. Now usually you have something like a prophecy move for this sort of trick, but I like the idea of just throwing it in there, spreading it, and you you got the card. Now this has been done before, uh, obviously by many magicians independently. However, this is just my method, so don't be uh don't get your panties in a tie if you if you see another magician has done this because every single magician has done this, even those that aren't necessarily magicians. Uh, such as Rob, uh, Rob Kurt, Kurt Cameron, Rob Kurt Cameron. He's a, he's a great magician from uh, the Western Indies that used this method. Rob Kurt Cameron. So uh, for this method, uh, what you do is that you have a card selected here. Now, if you want, you could have this uh, this little prediction card beforehand. Uh, I, I like to have it for goofs and gaffs and uh, giggles, but that card just gets placed aside. Now, for their card, it's going to need to be controlled fourth to the top. So if you get, uh, for example, somebody to pick the five of hearts, what you need to do is get the five of hearts and put it away immediately before someone get, get, gets hurt. Okay. All right. I'm good now. So you have a card selected. That's not the five of hearts. And this card is going to get selected, uh, controlled fourth from the top. So there's a couple of different ways you could do this. And I'll discuss one way uh, in, in, a, in the future here in a couple minutes. But for the, the easiest particular way, you have the card selected and you eyeball three cards here. And then you put your forefinger, you put your forefinger on top of the fourth card there. So there's a separation there. So at any point in time, you could just take these three cards because the forefinger is putting pressure on that fourth card. So when you turn this card over, all you got to do is just put those three cards on top, regrip for the break here, and then do whatever little, uh, whatever little control you want to do here to control that card to the top. So that's all you're doing uh, to control that card fourth to the top. So if you want to do that, if you want to do your, your favorite method of just controlling that seven of clubs to the top and adding three cards like your favorite pig did, then uh, you, could, you could do that. But the point is that that card is going to get ready for a, a spread coal. A spread coal. Now, there's a couple different things that are going to make this as easy as possible. First thing, you got to bend the deck a little bit. Just bend it. Just give it a little bit of a bend. Second of all, you're going to reverse spread the deck. Now, usually the deck is spread in this particular uh, fashion. However, for this 
a very impressive trick. You're, you're spreading it in a reverse fashion. So what this means is that if you're holding a card in your right hand, it could very easily penetrate the deck uh, in either the first or second try, j just like that. So uh, you could do this with a normal spread like this and then uh, try it, but you're going to be doing it with your left hand. And I don't know about you, but there are very few things I could do with my left hand apart from frantic. So you reverse spread the deck, have it in a nice open way, and you're going to ask them if they know what this card is. Of course, uh, you could berate them when they, they guess that it's their card and you tell them, no, it's the Joker, you piece of shit, you ungrateful cunt. I don't know why you always think these things. Uh, this is the Joker. It's not your card. I'm going to use it to find your card. Uh, just fucking wait. God damn it. I don't know how many times I've told you this before. Just sit there, take the peanut butter off your chest, all right, and get ready to watch some magic, bitch. You tell them whatever it is that you want. So uh, so what you're going to do is very easily, is, is not a hard thing to do. You're just going to throw the Joker somewhere in the spread. It doesn't matter where it hits, but because of the reverse spread and because you've bent the cards in a uh, PG fashion, what happens is that the Joker is going to go inside that spread. Uh, so that's kind of a cool thing to do. Now, if you want, you can give it a little bit of a pizzazz. So what I mean by that, by pizzazz, is uh, you could hold the Joker in this sort of way. Uh, you could hold the Joker in this sort of way. So what I what, see that my thumb is in the lower left corner here, and uh, I have this sort of thing. So I could just swing this over, and uh, you see how it kind of like propels. You could, you could do that. So you could just do that, and then have that land there. Now, of course, you're gonna need to uh, practice this. Especially if you're going to do it on camera because you want it to hit every time. But all you really need is a joker to just go either in the deck or somewhere on top so that even the little slight corner penetrates inside. So that when you square this puppy up, that joker is going to be face up in the middle. And you're ready to do a spread call on that fourth card to uh, the position of the joker. So you just spread call the fourth card here from the top. You, you spread call that right to the position of the joker you out jog it and see what happens i'm putting the spread cold card underneath the joker as i squirt up and say oh you, you seen robin hood well i i just split the because i threw the joker right next to your your card so that's that's that um so if you want to do that particular method uh sorry i, was, I got it here you want to get it here on the face i accidentally put it on the bottom because i'm a power bottom so uh, you want to get that joker on the face here. Now, here's a, here's a little bit of a Brucey, Brucey bonus here. Um, you could do this with two cards. And I'm going to explain how to do that on a, on a, on a separate video here, on a, on a hot live stream, um, maybe today. So you could do this with two cards uh, and then have a twist ending. You could guess what the twist, twist ending is going to be. Um, but uh, I'll show that on a, on a hot live stream. But in the meanwhile, you could practice this version and uh, get your get your Robin Hood on uh, get get your Robin Hood on so that's that's a hot trick you can practice uh, and really all you need is just a surface and then a little bit of practice a little bit of practice uh, for that so uh, you, you do that uh, what what do I what do I show oh uh, patron I dropped a, a hot bluff pass hot uh, bluff pass that doesn't suck on patron you you just look look that up hit pig cake Hit pig cake with a, a hot patron. Uh, support your local pig so he could keep keep doing these. Uh, that's that's some hot hot stuff. So check that out. Uh, and I'm gonna go uh, figure out different methods of holding my breath in different substances such as water and or maple syrup and or excess lubrication and or bodily fluids and or schmegma and or again, when i see you again 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 when i see you again